Realtor Online. Sensors Online. Weapons Online. Oh, systems Nominal. Hi everybody, my name is Crackerbox, and I'm here to show you how to get some really cool looking bases without a lot of effort. So for these, I have these uh, plastic hexes from any Battletech model that's produced in plastic that I've put texture paste on and primed black. And then for paints, I've got uh, Viejo model color Flat Earth, uh, Citadel Screaming Skull, Citadel Zandri Dust, uh, Pro Acryl Jade, and very old bottle of Army Painter Alien Purple. Now, we'll get into why the Jade and the Alien Purple are present here later, but really the most important part of this are the browns. Um, if you're doing gray bases, you can replace these with gray colors, but the important thing is to have a base color, a mid-highlight color, and a highlight color. So I threw some flat earth onto my wet palette here, and I'm going to get to base coating. And I'm not going to waste your time and paint all of these on camera. But the first part is to be getting a nice coverage of your brown. And yeah, just like that. And now we gotta just let it dry for a minute. All right, so now that we've got that dry, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some of this Zandri dust that I put on my wet palette. Uh, the wet palette is completely optional, of course. Uh, usually my palette of choice while I'm doing uh, bases usually because I'm trying to do something else at the same time, are bottle caps. So really whatever surface you want is fine. Um, and I'm just going to dry brush the... Oh, my brush was way too wet. All right, that's fine. We can recover from this. This is not a big deal. So first what I'm, first what I'm going to do is dry my brush off. It's taking the term dry brush a little bit. Not seriously enough, I suppose. All right, let's try this again. Putting a little bit of paint in my bristles, wiping it off on a nearby cloth, and... Nope. What I'm going to do is going to try this again. Because that's the fun part about painting these models, right? Is seeing what happens when you mess up. So welcome back. I've got my brown hex base here used with that uh, Viejo Flat Earth and got some Zandri dust on my brush. And we're just going to lightly dry brush that. I like to go from a couple different directions just to build up that that highlight. But yeah, so it's all nice and softly lit now. Kind of see some of the tan on there. All right, so now I'm going to take some of that Screaming Skull. Wipe it off and we'll do it again. Just very gently, because I just want to catch the top of those raised edges. Now, I could let this stay here. This is what most people do. Just let this stay here and be kind of a, a tan, dry base. Well, I don't really like that myself. Uh, I, I find that this type of thing looks a little 
a little artificial and could be better. Well, one of the things about um, nature is that we get a lot of greens and purples even in the soil. So I'm going to throw just a smidge of that Pro Acryl Jade and just the teeniest bit of this Alien Worlds Purple on my palette at this point. Assuming that this actually works. Alright, I'm going to take a second to unclog this. Alright, we don't really need a whole lot more than that. And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take just a little, a brush full of water, a, a smaller brush this time, full of water, from my paint cup, and going to thin this out until it's about halfway between paint and wash consistency. Now, some people might call this a glaze. Yeah, it's pretty glaze-like. So you can see how here, how it kind of wants to pool irregularly. Like it's paint that you thinned just way too much. All right, so I'm gonna take some of this and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna splatter some in there. That's, that's a lot, but that's fine. Now, while we got that going on, let's also take... We don't even really need to worry about our brush being clean at this point. Um, some of that purple, do the same thing. You thin down enough yet? Just about. And we're going to add that in. You can also use like the Army Painter Tones or Citadel uh, shades for this type of thing, or even contrast paint if you really want to. But this is how I like to do it. You might wind up with something like this a little bit. This isn't very brown, right? Well, we're going to change that here in just a second. So I'm going to break out my handy dandy hair dryer and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I'm back. It's all dry now. And now we're getting to the secret sauce of this. We're basically going to do it again. But the first thing that we need to do is do the same thing to our brown. The base color brown that we did, that we did to the purple and the green. What this will do... Yeah, there we go. Um, what this will do is this will tie the whole thing together. It will make it so that it seems like these colors do belong together. And so, here's what it looks like right now. But after we go back over with the dry brushing, that'll really finish out tying it together. I'm going to hair dry this real quick and be right back again. All right, now even this, I think this is pretty dope already. So we're going to go back to that Xandru dust. And we're going to find our shop rack. That we had around here. All right, and do another round. Eh, yeah, that's fine. Do another round of dry brushing. It's gonna go at it from all angles, being soft. Yeah, there we go. Finally, one more layer of Screaming Skull. 
You know what? I think the Screaming Skull might actually be a little bit too bright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take some of that Xandri dust and then mix it about 50 50 with the Screaming Skull just, just to brighten up. No, I bumped the thing. Sorry, folks. Just to brighten that tan up just a little bit. And my bristles are barely touching the base. Okay, so there we go. You can see we've got those natural purple and green tones along with the tan going on. Now you can go back on forth of this, uh, back and forth of this with this process as much as you want. Looking at this, I was originally meaning this to be a, a flat earth style base. So I think that I'm going to do one more, uh, one more trip with this glaze. Uh, this glaze that maybe decided it didn't want to live as a glaze anymore. Okay, and okay, now I wasn't happy with how that turned out, so what I can do is I revisited my brush water, got some water, and I'm actually going to wash it off before the paint's totally dry. This might just ruin everything, but we'll see what happens. Okay. Yeah, you know what? We'll leave it at that at that brown tan. I might go over it with like a, a an army painter, like strong tone or soft tone, something to to make it a little bit more brown in the final product. Or I might just leave it as is because this is this is a pretty nice looking base. Especially add some some like alien foliage or just regular foliage on top of it, and uh, boom. All right. Well. You folks have a uh, wonderful day, and I really hope that you can make some cool bases with that. See ya! We certainly hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and leave your questions or comments below. Follow us on Facebook at Battletech Camo Specs Online. Check out our website at camospecs.com. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Heat critical, shutdown imminent. Time for Pop-Tarts.